and gently just start to close your eyes and start to draw that connection with your breath deeply rooting your sitting bones into the mat pressing down and lifting up through the crown of your head drawing the shoulders away from your ears trying to draw the scapula all the way down your back towards your waist keeping your spine straight by tucking your chin into your chest elongating through the back of your neck creating a beautiful long spacious place for your breath to move and then gently just track your breath track its journey through your nostrils all the way down the back of your throat through your rib cage all the way down to the base of your belly Connecting with that ujjayi breath, that deep sound in the back of your throat, allow that to become a rhythmic constant throughout your practice. Without getting distracted with how deep you might be in a, pra- in a position. Whenever you feel like you're losing your breath, just back off a little. And then this morning I'd like to bring us an intention of balance. With all these things going on in the world, we might find ourselves swayed towards one direction or the other. And I think it's so important that we connect to this idea of balance. Balance between when we put our work down and when we play. When we let our mind switch off balance between our physical exercise and our rest, balance between healthy eating and a little treat, balance between taking life a little bit too seriously and taking moments of playfulness, of joy. Today will be all about creating balance on our mat in order to take that balance out into the rest of our practice sorry into the rest of our world into the rest of our day and into our mindset so just sealing in that intention or taking on any intention that is necessary for you today bring your thumb into your sternum and press it into your sternum just giving yourself permission to take on this intention Taking a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Nice and loud, audible breath through your open mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And bringing your hands back to your knees. We're going to do three rounds of counting your breath. So we're going to move through a pyramid of breath. We're going to go through a count of inhaling for one, exhaling for one, inhaling for two, exhaling for two, and working our way all the way up to six, and then back down to one. That counts as one round, and we're going to do that three times. So close your eyes. Deeply connect to the mat through the crown of your head, create length. And then inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth to prepare. Inhale for one and exhale for one. 
Inhale for two counts. One, two. Exhale for two counts. One, two. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two. Inhale, one. Exhale, one. Inhale through the nose, sealing in the benefits of the breath. And exhale, open mouth. Straight away we begin. Inhale for one. Exhale, one. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two. Inhale, one. Exhale, one. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, open mouth through, through the mouth. Let's go, last one. Inhale for one. Exhale, one. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two. Inhale, one. Exhale, one. 
Inhale through the nose. And exhale, open mouth through the mouth. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the left hand to the right knee. Take the right hand behind the back. Lengthen through the spine and twist. Inhale, sweep both arms up. And exhale, take it over to the left hand side. Lengthen through the spine. Twist over the left hand side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, back over to the right. Bring the right hand over to the top of the left thigh. Look over that right shoulder. Inhale, take it over to the other side. Bring that left hand behind and tuck it onto the top of the right thigh. Gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the fingertips to the top of the mat. Tuck the knees underneath the hips. Take the hands underneath the shoulders. And gently just move your body around in whichever way serves you this morning. Open up the hips. Maybe open up the front body. Find space. Create movement. All the time using your breath to guide your movements. And then come back to a neutral spine. Inhale, press the toes under, press the bum towards the heels, sit back into puppy's pose, taking the hands forward. Take the hands over to the right hand side, left hand on top of the right, press your hips towards the left hand side, opening up that left side body. Gaze towards the mat. Inhale, lengthen through the fingers. Take the hands further over to the right. Press the heels down towards the left. Inhale, back to center. Press towards the heels. Push back on the hands. Open up the armpits. And exhale, take the hands over to the left-hand side. Right hand on top of the left. Press the right hips down. Inhale, lengthen, look through the fingertips, take the hands over further towards the left. Inhale, press back to center, take the hands forward, lift the hips up, untuck the toes, press the hips up, draw the belly in, bring the forehead towards the mat. And then inhale, press the left hand into the mat, take the right arm up. Let's move that wrist five times in one direction, drawing the belly button in. Don't lose the connection to the breath. Don't lose your smile. Take the wrist, move it in the other direction. And then open up. Bring that right shoulder underneath the left. Thread your needle, take your left hand all the way up. Pressing the hips towards the right. Then draw the left hand underneath the shoulder. Take the right arm all the way up. Exhale, bring the hand down. Place the hand, press it, the right hand, press it down into the mat. Take the left hand all the way up. Let's move that left hand, twisting in one direction and then the other. Inhale to lengthen through the left. Exhale, bring the left hand, tuck it underneath the right. Thread the needle, bring the right hand all the way up. Pressing the hips towards the left side of the mat. Feeling a beautiful opening in the spine, creating movement, creating length. And then coming back to center, tuck the toes under. Let's lift the knees and let's hover, bringing the belly towards the thighs. And then push forward to pie plank. Drop the hips down. Untuck the toes. Open up the shoulders. Collarbones lengthen from each, each side to each other. Inhale, lengthen. Draw that belly in. Feel an opening in the belly. Exhale, take your gaze over your right shoulder. Draw the shoulders down your back towards your waist. 
Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, gaze over your left hand side. Come back to center, tuck the toes under, press the hips up, keep the knees towards the floor, hover. And then let's move through that again. So coming into high plank, drop the hips, untuck the toes, open up the chest, lengthen from collarbone to collarbone, tuck the chin in. Feeling a beautiful opening in the front body. Exhale, take your gaze over your right shoulder. Come back to center. Take your gaze over your left shoulder. Come back to center. Tuck your toes under. Press your hips up. Bring your belly to your thighs. Hovering your knees. Let's hold here. One last time. Inhale takes us forward. High plank. Drop your hips down, untuck your toes, open up your chest. Exhale, takes your gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, brings you back to center. Exhale, gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, press your belly towards your thighs. And then from here, press your heels down towards the mat, feet are hip width distance apart. Press your hips up, coming into your first downward facing dog of class. Check in with your body here. Inhale to look between your hands and very gently and very slowly moving your feet all the way behind your fingertips. Keeping your feet hip width distance apart. Take your opposite hand to opposite elbow. Let's move from side to side, opening up the hips gently. Bring a gentle bend in the knees. And then bring the fingertips just in front of the toes. On the inhale, we're gonna sweep the arms over to the right. Bring them over to the left and come back down. Sweep them to the right. Come all the way over, creating circles with our hips. One last time, come back to your center point and let's go other direction. Using your breath, inhale to lengthen to the sky. Exhale, bring the fingertips to the toes. One more time, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fingertips towards your toes. Inhale, flat back, look forward. Bring the weight onto your toes. Bring your fingertips just in front of the mat. Bend your knees. Open up the tops of the toes. Draw your belly to your thighs. And then gently drop your heels down. Press down through all four corners of your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Bring your hands to touch. Interlace your fingers. Inhale to lengthen. Let go of your index fingers, keeping them um, pointed up. And then exhale, take the hands over to the right hand side. Keeping your hips facing forward, shoulders facing forward. Inhale back to center. Exhale, take the hands over to the left. Keep the hips facing forward. Inhale back to center. Exhale, draw the belly in. Take the hands back, gentle back bend. Bring the hands to your heart center. Come onto the tips of your toes. See if you can balance here. Gently bend your knees. Keep your hands in your heart center. Lower your hips down as far as they can go, focusing on one bat, on one drishti, one gazing point. Keep the spine nice and long. Gently bring the knees down. Sorry, heels down. Press the hands all the way up. Bring your big toes to touch. Exhale, hinging at the hips, folding all the way forward. Inhale, flat back. Step the right leg back. Drop the right knee down. Untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, straighten that front leg. Bring the hands next to your hips. Bring your toes towards your face. Take three deep breaths here. Opening up the hamstrings. 
draw that belly in, keep the spine nice and straight. Inhale, press up, bring the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Take your right elbow over your left knee, bring your hands to the middle of your chest. Untuck the back toe, coming into a balancing position. Straightening that right leg. Holding here for three long breaths. Inhale, lengthen the spine, grow out of the crown of your head. Exhale, twist deeper. Exhale, drop that back leg. Untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to the front of your mat. Step your left foot next to your right. Drop the knees, drop the chin. Come into baby cobra. Exhale, take your gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, gaze over your left shoulder. Back to center. Tuck the toes under. Bend your knees, lift your hips up. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, bring the right leg through. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, straighten the front leg, bring the toes towards the face. Inhale, sweep the arms back up. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Take the left elbow over the right knee. Bring the hands to the middle of the chest. Untuck the back toe, lift that back leg, straight and strong. This time, taking the hands to the outer edges of the feet, opening up that twist a little bit more, focusing on the balance, using the breath. Exhale, drop that back leg, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to the front of the mat. Bring the left foot next to the right. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, wind removing pose, bring the right leg into the chest. Pressing down through all four corners of the left foot. Holding here, find your drishti, find your gazing point. Shoulders away from the ears. Then gently releasing. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinging at the hips, folding all the way forward. Inhale, flat back to look forward. Exhale, take the left foot back. Drop the left knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Bring the toes towards the face. Taking three breaths here. Keeping that knee drawn up. Active, straight front leg. Bring your gaze towards your toes. Keep that smile on your face. Chin parallel to the ground. Inhale, bend the knee. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart center. Take the left elbow over the right knee. Bring the hands to the center of the chest. Tuck the toes under. Lift the back knee. Keep it straight and strong. Keep smiling, keep breathing. And then gently drop that back leg, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands down. Step the right foot back, drop the knees, bring the chin towards the mat. Inhale, baby cobra, gaze over to your left. Back to center, gaze over your right. Back to center, press the knees, untuck the toes, lift the hips up. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Bring the left leg in between, left foot in between the hands, drop the right knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Inhale, sweep the arms back up. Woo! Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Take your right elbow over your left knee. Untuck your back toe, straighten that back leg. Dropping the right hand to the outer edge of your left foot, opening up your chest. Holding here for three strong breaths. Drop that back leg, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to the front of the mat. Step the right foot next to the left. Flat back to look forward. Exhale, bring the chin towards the shins. 
Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, when removing pose on the left hand side, bring the left knee towards the left armpit, pressing down through all four corners of the feet on the right foot. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, open up the hip, and then gently release, moving the legs from side to side, coming back to your breath, coming back to your intention, creating the sense of balance on either side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinging at the hips, folding all the way forward. Inhale, flat back to look forward. Exhale, take the right leg back, drop the right knee. One breath, one movement. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, straighten that front leg. Inhale, sweep the arms back up. Exhale, hands to your chest, take your, your right arm over your left. Press the back foot, straighten. Bring the hands to the center of the chest. Exhale, drop the knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the hand to the front of the mat. Step the left foot next to the right. This time, chaturanga, elbows to the side body. Inhale, upward facing dog, untuck the toes. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg. Bring the right foot all the way through the hands. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arm up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take the, the elbow over the knee, untuck your back toes. Inhale to press up. Exhale, open. One inhale. Exhale, drop the back leg. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands in the front of the mat. Inhale, brace the right, the left foot next to the right, straight back. Exhale, bring the chin towards the shins. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the knee towards the armpit. Hold here. Inhale, keeping the leg, lift the arms up. Point that foot forward, holding for four breaths. One, two, three. Four. Bring your hands to your heart center. Bend your left leg. Sweep that right foot back. Keep the outer edge of the right hip facing down. Inhale to open the chest. Pressing down through all four corners of the left leg. Inhale, let's sweep those arms forward. Exhale, bring the leg all the way through, coming back to wind removing pose. Nice and strong, everyone. Gently let go of the knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the right foot over the left, coming to figure four. Keeping that balance. Keeping the smile. Keeping the weight in the heel of the left foot. Lifting the inner arch. Nice work. Inhale, press up. Back to wind removing pose. Bring the hands onto the interlace of the knee. One last push on that standing leg. You should be feeling it. And then gently release. Move from side to side. Well done, guys. That's a strong little flow there. Inhale, take the hands up. Exhale, hinging at the hips, folding all the way forward, chin towards the shins. Inhale, flat back to look forward. Exhale, step the left foot back, drop the left knee, one breath, one movement. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Inhale, sweep the arms back up. Exhale, hands to your heart center, knee over your el elbow over your knee, straighten that back leg. Stay here for one inhale. Exhale, drop the knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands down. Step the left foot back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Bring the left foot in between the hands, drop the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Inhale, bend the front leg. Exhale, hands to your heart center. 
Come, bring the elbow over the knee. Straighten that back leg. Drop the hands, open up the chest. Stay for one inhale. Exhale, drop the knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to the front of the mat. Bring the right foot next to the left. Flat back to look forward. Exhale, bring the chin towards the shins. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, when removing pose on the left hand side. Standing legs straight and strong. Holding here. Pressing down through all four corners of the right foot. Drawing strength through your core. Shoulders away from your ears. Let that, right, that left foot go forward. Arms come up. Holding here. Stay for four, three, two, one. Hands to your heart center. Bringing the left foot all the way back. Opening up through the chest. Making sure the left hip is dropping down towards the mat. Then bringing the arms all the way forward. Warrior three. Then inhale, sweep that leg forward, coming back to wind removing pose. Bring the left knee towards the left armpit. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, left ankle over right knee, sit into figure four. Making sure the hips are equal. Making sure that left foot is, is still active. Taking two more breaths. Nice and strong, everyone. Well done. Inhale to push up. Interlace the hands overneath, over the knee, bringing the knee back towards the armpit, wind removing pose. And then gently release, moving the legs from side to side. Well done, nice and strong. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, hinging at the hips, folding forward. Inhale, flat back to look forward. Exhale, step the right leg back. Take the right foot to 90 degrees to the front. Inhale, the arms up. Coming into warrior one. Holding in warrior one. Take your gaze towards your fingertips. Keep your hips facing the front side of the mat. Inhale here. Exhale, open up warrior two. Inhale, lengthen from fingertip to fingertip. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Bring your right hand behind you, left hand overhead. One breath here. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bring the left elbow to the left knee. Right arm comes all the way up. Stretch from right foot to right fingertip. Front knee over front ankle. With control, bring the right hand to the hip. Bring the left hand about just in front of the left foot. Bring that right leg up, coming to half moon. Either keeping your gaze at your left fingertips or taking your gaze up towards your right fingertips. Keeping that back leg lifted and straight. Drawing the belly in, opening up the hips. Bending that front knee, gently placing the back leg down, coming back to warrior two windmill the hands down and now pressing into the right palm of the foot taking the left leg up opening up to side plank holding here you can take the leg down onto the left leg if you need onto the right leg if you need coming back high plank chaturanga inhale upward facing dog Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking five deep breaths in your downward facing dog. If you have handstand hops in your practice, you're welcome to take them here. Just bringing your shoulders over your wrists. Just take five breaths. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale to look between your hands. 
Exhale, step your feet to the front of the mat. Flat back to look forward. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, wind removing pose. Bring the right knee towards the right armpit. Inhale to lengthen. Take that right leg all the way out, holding here for five breaths. Making sure the right hip doesn't lift. And then gently releasing the right foot next to the left. Hands back to your heart center. Move your legs from side to side. Last flow. Keep it going, guys. You're doing well. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, hinging at the hips, folding all the way forward. Bringing the, chi the shin, chin towards the shins. Flat back to look forward. Step the left leg back. Take the left foot at a 90 degree angle. Coming up to warrior one. Facing the hips to the short side of the mat. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, open up warrior two. Stretching from fingertip to fingertip. Hold here. Feel the power. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Taking your left hand down your leg, right hand all the way over. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, right elbow onto, onto right knee. Left hand comes all the way over. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bring that left hand to the left hip. Bring the right hand just in front of the right toes. Coming all the way up with the back leg, keeping that right leg straight and strong. You can either stay here with your hand on your hip or you can open up. Coming to half moon. Draw the belly in. Nice and strong. Activate that back foot, that back leg. See if you can lift it a bit higher. Bend the front knee, step the left leg back. Come back to warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Stepping to high plank on the left hand side. So drawing the right foot on top of the left or lifting the right leg up. Coming back high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking five deep breaths and downward facing dog. Again, if you wanna practice some hops, you can. Try see if you can go onto the other side if you did one side. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, take your gaze between your hands. Step your feet all the way up. Flat back to look forward. Exhale, bring your chin towards your shins. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, wind removing pose on the left hand side. Interlace your fingers over your left knee. Straighten that right leg. Activate that left foot. Shoulders away from the ears. Jaw nice and relaxed. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Bend, straighten that front leg. Make sure the left, left hip is still going down towards the mat. And then gently release, moving from side to side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinging at the hips, folding forward. Inhale, flat back to look forward. Placing the hands into the mat, step back, coming to high plank. And here we're gonna hold. Making sure the shoulders are over the wrists. Making sure the fingertips are pressing down into the mat. Heels are pressing towards the back of the mat. Draw the belly in. And then tap, left, right knee, Right elbow, come back down. Left knee, left elbow, come back down. Right, left, right. Draw that belly in, left, right. Try and get as little movement through the hips as possible. Keep the stability, keep the balance. Come back to center, gently lower yourself all the way down. Bring your forehead to your hands. So bring your hands just in front of the mat. Interlace your fingers. 
and then pressing your toes into the mat bring your hands underneath your shoulders inhale to lengthen and lift the chest activate the glutes tuck the chin in see if you can lift the hands off the mat bring the elbows towards the waist draw that belly in tuck the chin and then gently release bring the right ear towards the mat And you can either stay there, or this time you can lift your legs and lift your hands. So inhale to lift, activate those glutes, protect the back, draw the belly in, shoulders away from the ears, bring the shoulders down the spine. And let's see if we can swim here. So take the hands forward, and then feel like you're moving the elbows back through mud. Lengthen the hands and move the elbows back through that mud, nice and sticky. One last time, inhale to lengthen, exhale, move the elbows back, press the hands into the mat, knees, mats with distance apart, coming into child's pose. And then gently and very gracefully, just coming into a seated position, bringing your feet out in front of you. We're going to do a couple of rounds of core here. So just coming onto your back. We did some of this last night. It's nice and strong. So bend your knees. Keep your knees about hip width distance apart. And then take your legs all the way up. And then from here, lift your shoulders. You're going to drop your left knee. Bring your left elbow towards your right knee. And as you change, you're going to bring your right elbow towards your left knee keeping your shoulders lifted off the mat we've got 30 seconds here guys go slowly protect your neck so let your head hang heavy into your hands draw that belly in fifteen seconds left connect with the core Press the lower spine into the mat. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Lift the neck, lift the feet, hold here. Lift the shoulders. And then bend the knees, bring the arms up. We're gonna to tap towards our heels. Rolling from shoulder to shoulder. Draw that belly in. Nice and strong core work. Keep it going. Got 30 seconds here as well. Just taking your fingertips towards your heels. Keep the smile on your face. Keep the breath. 15 seconds left. Should feel the burn. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift the legs, lift the shoulders and hold. And then gently hug the knees into the chest. Rock from side to side. Then taking the feet mat width distance apart, take the knees over to the right hand side. Put the right, he the right heel over the left knee and take your palms flat onto the mat. Take your gaze over your left hand side. You should feel a nice gentle twist. Pressing that left shoulder into the mat. Then gently come back to center. Drop the knees over to the left hand side. Take the left heel over the right knee. Take your gaze over your right shoulder this time. And then gently come back to center. Give yourself one last hug. And gently drop your feet 
to the outer edges of your mat. Take your hands about mat width distance apart with your palms facing up. Move your hips around as much as you need to to get comfortable. And find yourself in a restful Shavasana. Slowly starting to disconnect from any control of the breath. Disconnect from any tension that might have arisen in your body. And allow the body just to go heavily into the mat. We would have created a sense of balance between left and right. Allowing the breath to flow freely between each side of the body and between each plane of the body from fingertips to the crown of the head to the toes Then slowly start to reconnect with your physical body, moving your toes, moving your fingertips, moving your hips. Maybe just move your tongue on the top of your palate. And then hug your knees into your chest. Think of something that you are so proud of yourself for today and congratulate yourself for that. Seal in that sense of pride and hug your knees into your chest. Then roll over to your right hand side, keeping your knees into your chest. And think of someone that you can offer some sense of kindness to today. Whether it be a small message or just a kind word. Send love to that person. And hug your knees a little bit tighter into your chest. And then gently keeping your eyes closed, coming up into a seated position. bringing your hands onto your knees just thinking about the benefits of the sense of balance thinking about the intention and the way that you can take this into your day today and then seal in the benefits of the practice by bringing your hands to your heart center, connecting your thumb to your sternum and just giving a gentle push. Bring your hands to your forehead. Allow your thoughts to be filled with love and kindness. Bring your hands to your mouth. Allow your words to be filled with love and kindness. And bring your hands to your heart Allow your actions and your intentions to be filled with love and kindness. Thank you so much for joining again today, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a beautiful Tuesday. Cheers.